Hi, this is Chris here with Battle Beaver Customs. We're going to show you the video of how to install the domed thumbsticks for the Xbox One controller. See the difference here? Thumbsticks. These are specially made. They're not a normal PS3 stick. The thickness here on the inside are a little bit thinner. Uh, to give you the number, this is about a millimeter thinner than even the stock. So it's going to open up your range of movement a little bit. Allow you for a little bit smoother transitioning. Fingers aren't going to be jumping off the sticks near as much. And just going to feel overall a lot better. These sticks are custom. I mean, they are one of a kind. There's no one else that has them out yet until someone overseas can find a way to duplicate them, which probably won't be but a couple months. So selling this as a do-it-yourself kit. In the kit, you'll get a T8 Torx screwdriver, just a T8 Torx with a hole in the middle of it. You'll get a pry bar, a little cheap pry bar. If you've ever taken apart an iPhone, you'll probably have a hundred of these laying around. And then two thumbsticks. And what you'll need to do is take your Xbox One controller and flip it over. Take the battery case off, which I've already have done, and you'll notice a screw here. The rest of the screws are missing. You have these two side panels. We're going to remove those. I'm going to show you two different methods of doing it. Do it whichever way feels comfortable for you. Take your pry bar. You want to take the sharp part of it. You'll see the sharp part in there. Point it into the side here and pull up. And you'll feel the clips disengage on the inside. And as I do that, get that pry bar in there and pull it off. That's one way to do it. The other way that guys like to do it is I'll take and go right under the bottom of the trigger here. Move that up so you'll take your sharp part, angle it down so you're pressing against the trigger. Get right in between the two and you'll feel that first click engage, push it straight down. And then they're off. Real simple. You can see the bottom of these. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips that hold on each one. So pretty strong. Once you get in here, you're going to have five screws. Screw number one, two, three, four, and five. And just go ahead and take those out. Real simple. These are T8 Torx. Pop them out one at a time. And kind of hold the whole controller together to keep it from falling apart on you. And all you'll have to simply do is you'll take this, lay it down flat, and this faceplate will just lift straight off. And that's it. Thumbsticks right here. If for some reason this middle section is to come out, so let's say this happens and you have your bottom case here, the only thing you want to watch out for are these two battery connectors. There's a slot on the inside of the casing here. Let's see if we can get a good picture of it. That slot right in there, just make sure those line up straight. So what I normally do is I'll line them up, get them started, get them about halfway, pull both the triggers in, and then push it down. And that just pops them in there. Make sure your triggers move freely, and you're good. Once you have it this way, take your thumbsticks, pull them off. Take these amazing dome thumbsticks you get in the mail, put them on there, like so. That's it. Now, when you go to put this on, you're going to notice it doesn't just fall on. These thumbsticks are just the perfect size to fit in this shell. So you got to kind of push them in there. They're going to fit through, so just give them a little bit of pressure, they're not going to hurt them, that rubber is just going to kind of flex, so just push them in, and then take, hold it together, flip it over, put your screws back in. And that is absolutely it. If you have any questions, 
feel free to contact me through my Facebook page, facebook.com slash xboxrefurb, one word. And I'll answer any questions you have there. If you're scared to take apart your controller, you can definitely mail it in. And if you have any ideas for future do-it-yourself videos or do-it-yourself kits, I'm all ears. But as for now, this is Chris with Battle Beaver Customs, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I guess I need to pop these back on. Just snap it. Snap it. Boom. Time to game.